Welcome traders to another Tigma Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing the 6th of December with me, Patrick Munley. Starting in the US, it's a pretty light data calendar really across the board this week, but um, Tuesday we're going to get October trade balance looking for negative 66.8 billion as the deficit is likely to remain wide in the run up to Christmas. On Wednesday, we get October consumer credit, looking for 25 billion print there. Demand for cars continues to buoy credit demand. We then get October jobs, job openings. Um, this should continue to point to extraordinary demand for workers. Then on Thursday, we have initial jobless claims, likely to remain historically low for the foreseeable future. We also get October wholesale inventories, the end of demand and supply chain restricting likely to see stocks rebuilding there and then wrapping it up on friday we get november cpi looking for a 0.7 percent print there annual inflation to crest really in the coming months is the view and we round out the week with december university of michigan sentiment looking for a 68 print there as inflation hit to discretionary incomes remains a big concern from a technical perspective in terms of the dollar index we continue to consolidate in this triangle pattern looking for tests down into 95.50 area to find demand, ultimately looking for a pop to test 97.50 before pulling back to retest the 94.50 area as significant support. In the Eurozone, it's uh, again light calendar really in terms of Eurozone data, but we, there is quite a focus on German specific data. We start the week with uh, the December Centex Investor Confidence last time out, 18.3%. But again, Omicron and Delta are likely to weigh on confidence. On Tuesday, we get Eurozone third quarter GDP, looking for a 2.2% print there. Uh, we also get December ZEW Survey of Expectations last time out, 259 Again, uncertainty likely to cloud the outlook there. We also get German October Industrial Production, looking for a positive 1% print. And then we are heading into um, Friday, rounding out the week with um, November CPI for Germany, last time out, 0.2%. Energy is mostly responsible for the vast majority of the inflation surge that we've been seeing there. From a technical perspective, with the euro dollar, as we continue to find support uh, uh, towards 112.60, I'm looking for an extension up through the monthly pivot at 113.79 to ultimately get a retest of this 115 handle uh, from below and then we'll see if sellers uh, step back in for the next leg to the downside. In terms of the yen, very, very quiet week. Um, just one print of notes really and that's on Wednesday. We get October current account balance looking for 129.15 as external demand really lacks momentum there. And we also get third quarter GDP looking for a negative 0.8% print. Uh, prospects for domestic demand also remain very poor. From a te technical perspective, I'm looking for the dollar yen to test back into uh, this 114.50 area from there. I'm watching for bearish reversal patterns to engage on the short side ultimately looking for a test of ascending trendline support, these prior highs here at the 111.50 handle. In terms of the UK, also light data week uh, next week, we only have uh, the print for October trade balance coming in on Friday. And again, Brexit and COVID-19 are likely to continue to create trade instability in the UK. From a technical perspective, Sterling is in this uh, contracting, descending wedge pattern. I'm looking for support to be maintained just below the 132 handle and then looking for bullish reversal patterns to engage on the long side, looking for a test of these prior lows at the 134.10 and then we'll see if uh, sellers step back in to take it down to ultimate test of 130.12, uh, the quality objective versus this swing structure here. Running out the week, last but not least, is the Australian dollar in Australia. On Tuesday, we get the RBA policy decision, looking for them to maintain the 0.1% on hold, but governor's decision statements will be of some interest. We then get our RBA Governor Lowe speaking on Thursday, uh, the payments summit. And 
that concludes the, uh, the data there for Australia next week. So the focus is really going to be on that RBA decision. Uh, but ultimately at this stage, looking for uh, the Aussie dollar to get a test now below the 70 handle from there, we should see a relief rally and then likely retest the uh, descending trend line support to ultimately then pop back up to get a move to test the uh, 71.60 again as resistance. And that concludes the weekly market outlook for week commencing the 6th of December. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.